Hey crafty friends, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps and today I created a fall scene card using the Lovely Layer Fireplace and the Fireplace Following add-on. I've done all of my die cuts from white cardstock and I'm going to start by ink blending the base to the fireplace. I am using tons of Distress Oxide inks and I used frayed burlap for the fireplace. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on a couple of these pieces and then darker on this next little piece here. And I will show you obviously how these get put together. I am going to speed up the ink blending because this is a longer video to begin with because there's a lot of die cuts. This is a very die cut heavy card. Everything is die cut except for the stamp. This is the background to the fireplace. I ink blended with crackling campfire and black soot. And this is gonna create, I want it to look darker around the edges like there is soot and lighter inside like the fire is going. This whole card, I wanted to have this really soft feel, um, just a really cozy fall feeling. And so that's the color scheme I'm going with. These are the three logs that I ink blended with black soot and I did walnut stain, I believe, or gathered twigs, one of those two. Here are the little fire pieces. I am using crackling campfire and carved pumpkin for these colors. I'm just using some low tack tape to adhere these really tiny pieces down too. So it's just easy to ink blend and I don't have to hang on to it too much. I am using the Belux blending brushes, larger blending brushes from uh, Honeybee Stamps to do all of my blending. Let's put this fireplace together. I'm kind of doing it differently today. I'm ink blending and then kind of putting those pieces together. So I'm going to layer that little small fire onto the back piece. I have two logs in the back. I'm going to adhere that down and then I can put that little one right in front, kind of sandwiching that fire in between the logs. And I am scooting that down towards the bottom of that little fireplace there. So let's get our fire. I think the flames are so cute. And then there was, I'm not sure if you noticed when I was ink blending, there's three little tiny pieces, little flames that are still stuck to my low tack tape that I'm going to adhere on this background as well. And I almost got rid of them thinking it was not pieces of the fire. So I'm glad I looked at the layering guide because I was following along on the layering guide. And I was like, oh, those are pieces. I do need those. So I'm gonna put those in place using some liquid glue and it's just such a cute die. I just, I always say how much I love Lovely Layers dies and this is no exception. This is just absolutely fabulous. So the rest of the parts to the fireplace are actually gonna be in white. So I just left the cardstock white. I didn't color it. I didn't do anything like that. I wanted this nice bright white against this light brown stone. So we can start adhering the rest of this whole fireplace and there's little bits of brick around this section here and up at the top. We're gonna to be framing in all of these pieces with white, with our white die cuts. One piece I did not use and it goes at the bottom. It's like a little metal, it's not the grate, but it's a little, it, like, like it would be a metal piece. So you couldn't step onto the hearth of the fireplace, something like that. I did not use that. That's the only die I didn't use for the fireplace. Let's add our little columns here on the side. And then we have our mantle piece, which I love that it has these little arched openings because then you can see that background piece that we ink blended with the frayed burlap. And so that looks really, really pretty. Then we have another piece that goes on our mantle at the top part there. This piece is gonna go at the bottom and then we have that little tiny piece that's going to go at the bottom part of our mantle. So tons of little finishing details that really make this look like a really beautiful fireplace. Let's add this piece here. And then on each of the columns at the top and the bottom, we have these little rectangle pieces that are just fun little detail wood pieces that I'm going to just adhere down. 
And then we have our super cute fireplace. Then from the uh, Lovely Layers fireplace following add-on, we have this cute chair. I've also, I'm ink blending with, oh, which one am I doing? Rusty Hinge. And then I've got this patterned paper from the Fall is in the Air paper. I thought it just, I liked those flowers with that bit of that kind of reddish orange. Then there's some pillows. I die cut one of the pillows from that same patterned paper. Then I'm ink blending the pillows with um, Tattered Rose and Bundled Sage. So we're gonna have three pillows. We have our little garland here that has leaves and acorns. And so I'm ink blending with gathered twigs and walnut stain. I am adding the legs to my chair and the pieces to the acorns. And I'm going to be ink blending these with gathered twigs. So the first color that I used was the walnut stain. Again, just adhering that to some low tack tape so I can get that colored. Let's glue the bottom pieces to the acorns. So there's not a top piece, but just the bottom piece. And I, I will say I didn't get quite the color variants that I wanted with those two colors, but it still turned out really, really cute. So I'm gonna put those in place. I did the chairs to the legs at the same time as this because they were I was ink blending them the same color and it just would go a bit faster. So we have four little legs here that I can put in place, but I just kind of love this. It looks kind of like a wingback chair and super cozy and it's gonna be really cute by the fireplace. There is a rug, uh, there is a pie. So this is the top of the pie. I just ink blended with the leftover on my brown blending brush. I'm using crackling campfire at the top and then speckled egg for my pie dish because I actually have some beautiful blue pie dishes that are kind of between Robin's egg and salvaged patina and it's so pretty. So I just had to color it that color. I'm going to adhere that bottom onto the pie and then we have the crust piece here that is going to go onto the top. This is all part of that following add-on for the Lovely Layers fireplace. There's tons of things. There's so much more than what I used on here. And yeah, so super cute. I'm using scattered straw for two of the leaves. It's gonna go on that garland and then rusty hinge for another one. I thought bringing in some yellow, although it does kind of, it does look similar to the frayed burlap. So, but it still is cute. I'm just gonna glue those in place. And we have that cute, cute garland. What else do we have here? Then we have our little basket that's going to hold a blanket. So the blanket I'm going to ink blend, I believe this is Tattered Rose. And I'm going to be using gathered twigs for the basket. And there's a little handle. It looks like a little candy cane is what it looks like. And so uh, we're gonna color that brown. This is the rug I'm gonna do bundled sage on. And then I guess I'm coming back to the to the, uh, there we are, now we're on the basket. So I'm just gonna ink blend that. And this basket is so cute. I love that the, that the blanket looks like it's hanging out of the basket. I think that's really super cute. So I'm adhering those two layers together and then the handle goes on the right side. Cute, cute. Then we have our lamp. I was really deciding what color to do because I picked out certain colors that I wanted for the color combination. I am using Tattered Rose and a little bit of Victorian Velvet around the edge and the little piece that's gonna go, the little strip that's gonna go on the top, giving us a tiny bit of a two-tone color. And then we have tons of pumpkins. I die cut six pumpkins total and, or eight pumpkins, I believe. And I think I used seven. <laughs> and then I just ink blended that base a little bit of a light brown color on the lamp. So here is a ton of the pumpkins. I What I love about the pumpkins is there's embossing on it. So there's different shapes and stripes and polka dots and all kinds of just little texture on it. And I love it. So I'm gonna use four colors. Uh, tattered Rose, Victorian Velvet, Rusty Hinge, and Bundled Sage. Those were my original colors that I wanted to build off for 
my color combinations. I did have to bring in some browns and the reds and blacks for the fireplace and things like that. But what I was basing it off of was those four colors. Again, bundled sage, tattered rose, Victoria, Victorian velvet, and rusty hinge. So let's ink blend these last little guys here. And then we can start on our background. I am creating a wood floor with gathered twigs. This is on an A2 size piece of white cardstock. And I am bringing back in that beautiful speckled egg. This is gonna be our wall color, our paint color on the background. It's gonna stand out differently against everything else. So I'm using some liquid glue and some tape runner because my background is still wet. So I needed to use both to get everything to adhere down. I did tuck in that green pillow into the chair. I'm gonna lay down this rug. I did tuck that pillow into the chair and I'm gonna use some foam adhesive behind the chair and then it's going to overlap the fireplace on the left hand side. I have to remove one of those pieces of foam adhesive because I wasn't thinking <laughs> but then we can just place that little chair right there and I'm having it hang off the edge just a little bit and I needed to add some liquid glue that way it would stay stay down. We've got that blanket hanging off of the basket. I'm going to adhere that down and then the other two pillows, the one that was die cut from the patterned paper fall is in the air. And then we have our uh, tattered rose pillow. I'm gonna have those laying on the bottom, off the side and the bottom, laying off the edge again so we can trim that off. So it just looks like your scene is going a little bit further. We have our cute fall garland. I'm gonna place the pumpkins up at the top. I've got this cute pie. I'm gonna place that one up there. I wanted this to be very pumpkin heavy because it's fall and I liked all these different colors of pumpkins and I just felt like this fireplace was so cute and we just all needed to feel like it's time for pumpkin season. I'm going to place that little pumpkin there and I've got that big green one I'm going to kind of tuck behind that little pumpkin and the basket. Then we have two other ones that are kind of hiding behind the chair but in front of the fireplace. And then I decided to place this lamp behind my chair. I do have to trim the bottom off a little bit. And then I can add some foam adhesive behind the lampshade and then just tuck that in back there and place that down. I am stamping the sentiment that says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes from the mini messages fall with Ranger Inks uh, jet black archival ink and I'm doing that because the background is ink blended with distress oxide inks but here is that cute card I love how this turned out I love all the die cuts it is so super cute thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching and I hope that you feel inspired by this project and I hope you guys have a wonderful day